Lately, there's been a lot of talk about prescription drug costs. One word that comes up often is rebates. You may be familiar with how rebates work for other consumer goods. When you buy a certain product, the manufacturer gives you some money back, which is called a rebate. But when it comes to prescription drugs, rebates work a little differently. Let's start with the drug company, which sets a price for their drug, sometimes called the list price. It's often used to determine how much someone pays when they fill a prescription. If you have insurance, you might pay a percentage of the list price. Or if you haven't met your deductible, you might pay the whole amount. If you don't have insurance, you might also pay the full list price. But behind the scenes, the drug company may also offer a rebate or a discount on the list price to a pharmacy benefit manager, or PBM. Health insurance companies use PBMs to manage their pharmacy benefits. This includes developing the formulary, which is a list of drugs the insurance company will cover, and negotiating prices with drug companies for the drugs covered on the formulary. So why do drug companies offer rebates to PBMs? Typically, they offer rebates for brand name drugs so that these drugs get preferred placement on the formulary. This preferred status encourages patients to use the drug company's medications rather than competing products. When patients fill a prescription for one of these medications, the drug company pays a rebate to the PBM. As a result, the actual price that the PBM pays for the drug is lower than the list price. PBMs may share some or all of these rebates with insurance companies to help lower overall insurance costs, which allows them to charge enrollees a lower premium. But rebates do not directly lower the out-of-pocket cost that patients pay for a drug. Because remember, what patients pay is based on the list price, even if the drug company has given a rebate to the PBM for that drug. These rebate arrangements have received a lot of attention from lawmakers as they consider ways to lower prescription drug costs. The Trump administration had proposed banning rebates between drug companies and PBMs for people who have prescription drug coverage through Medicare, known as Part D. Instead, drug companies could have offered rebates directly to people enrolled in Part D when they filled their prescriptions. But the administration retracted this proposal amid concerns that it would lead to higher costs for insurance companies, higher premiums for enrollees, and higher Medicare spending by the federal government. It is still possible that lawmakers could make some changes to this rebate system to help people save money on their prescriptions. But they're also talking about many other ways to lower drug costs, like bringing more generic drugs to market, using lower drug prices in other countries as a benchmark for prices in the U.S., allowing the federal government to negotiate drug prices under Part D, and letting Americans buy lower-cost prescription drugs from other countries. The fate of these and other proposals is still up in the air.